Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and today we're going to be painting some watercolor florals on some eggs. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. So let's jump in and get started. Okay friends, so today we're gonna be painting on some eggs. I got these, they're kind of like craft papery eggs from the dollar store, um, and it includes dye and stuff like that. I'm not gonna use them. Uh, they have ceramic ones, which I didn't wanna use, um, cause I have used these ones before and they're pretty good for watercolor. So they're like these like papery kind of consistency. Like it's, it's not, like a hard plastic on top. Um, it has a smooth surface, but it's not like a plastic that if you were to put paint on it, it would just bead off, right? So um, these ones I've used in the past, you can actually paint with watercolor on real eggs too. And they work fairly well. So I just got these from the dollar store and um, they're very inexpensive, but I'm sure you could find them at Michael's if you don't have them at a dollar store near you. But yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. So I'm going to paint on these. And like I said, you can paint on real eggs if you'd like. I have done real eggs in the past and I haven't done this in a while. So I thought, you know what, that's what I'd like to do today because Easter is coming up and these are really cute to do for like a centerpiece or an Easter baskets. And as for sealing them, I don't think I tried sealing them before. So I think I just left them with watercolor and as long as you don't get them wet, they should be fine. Um, but you can look into what sealant would be good. And then here I just have some tape because I find when you're painting sometimes it's nice to have a place to rest it so it's not rolling all over the place, um, especially on the part that you just painted. So if you want to find like a little thing of tape or a lid or something like that, you can definitely do that. And let's get ready. So I'm going to be using my size four round uh, and then my ultimate palette watercolors. And I just want to do some cute little uh, florals because that's my jam. And I feel like I haven't done them in a while. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab some pink. And it's fun when you kind of come up with a color scheme to do it. Um, so I'm just going to start off with like a little rose. Oh, I should probably be up here so you guys can see and we'll zoom in. But like it takes watercolor pretty well on this. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect, like if you just draw like little petals on here, it looks beautiful. <clears throat> now, obviously it's not the same as cotton paper, but the watercolor does stick, which is really nice. And you can even, I feel like I've done this before, but I think you can even do a little bit of like wet on wet. Like there, you can get some kind of nice bleeds and blends. So I'm just doing these like rounder, fluffier petals. It is a little tricky to paint on, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more pink. Make it a little bit darker towards the center. And yeah, it like kind of blends out because it's still wet, but it looks cute. And I'm going to grab some green. Do some leaves. like that. So cute. And they just look adorable. So I'm going to try and go around and do maybe some other little flowers. So I have pink here. Maybe I'll do like a peach. So I'm just going to mix a little bit with my 
pink and a yellow and I'm just gonna do maybe you can even do a bit of a side view and I feel like because you're painting on such a odd shaped surface and it's like a small surface you don't have to worry too much about creating this whole picture it's just little floral elements and it's almost a bit more relaxing than creating a full picture on a piece of paper you can be a bit more loose with it like just paint some petals like it doesn't have to be complete or perfect I'm gonna grab a different green for this one what green is that I have to remember what greens are in my palette <laughs> um, maybe not maybe I won't do a different green I don't know I do just a little bit of stem, the leaf. And it, the tricky part is definitely working on like a, a surface like this. So just take your time, but also try not to put too much pressure on yourself for it to be perfect. Okay. And then you just slowly start moving around. Now, since I have that big rose there and then like two little kind of peonies, that's not, they're not really that peach. It's all kind of pink. I'm going to do another big rose over here. I miss doing these. I used to do these all the time for Easter. And then I would hide them in like my local park for people to find and they can collect them. I made some for my mom for Easter, for her center table, but I feel like I haven't done these in ages. Just some C curves going around. Make sure to leave that white space just so you can see some separation in some of the petals. Okay. A little bit more darkness. I absolutely love the way it looks on this. I'm just going around with some small like but like look how pretty that is okay so I'm gonna leave this one to dry like this before I do any more just because I don't want to have any of it wipe off okay and then for the next one we could do I don't know what else could we do you could do different flowers or you could even paint you know what I'm gonna paint a solid pink one because it's really nice to have in uh, like a set together let's see what it looks like and this you're definitely gonna need something to balance it on after to dry you can only do one side at a time but I love oh, I'm not even showing you sorry I love the watercolor look to it obviously we're painting it with watercolor but it's just so pretty the way it moves on this surface Okay, so I'm going to paint that solid. Actually, let's just leave that there and hope it doesn't <laughs> roll too much. Okay, and then let's do another one, maybe a bit more greenery on one with like little hints of pink. So let's do, yeah, let's do some more greenery on one. So I'm just going to start with like a little stem. And just do little leaves. Just 
So try and come up with like a color palette for your eggs and then kind of feature one color on each egg. So this one was a bit more of like a pink heavy one with little bits of greenery. This solid one is going to be more pink obviously and then this one's going to be more green with little bits of um, pink. So you're still, you have those, the color palette all together. Sorry, I'm really trying to keep this in frame, but it's so hard to paint so far away from my face. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do this little pattern of these leaves around. Okay, and then I'm going to take a different green. Let's do like a darker green, which I'll also add into the other bits. Maybe like some longer leaves. Like that. And then I would do a little bit of pink. Don't like this one as much, but that's okay. This is so hard to do on this angle. Okay, do a bit more pinks. Then you can just have a bit more green kind of coming off some of these for little leaves. But yeah, they're not like the best flowers or leaves I've ever painted. But just because like you're putting it all together on this curved surface, it just tends to look really pretty. You know what else I might actually do? Um, I might, cause I want to on this pink one, do flecks of gold. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I might grab I'm going to do flecks of gold on the solid pink one, but because I have so much space on this one, I might do some gold leaves. Oh my gosh, it's just rolling. That's why I think this is dry. Yeah, so that's why it's good to have <laughs> this to hold it. I should get more tape out. So I'm going to grab some gold and do some golden leaves on here as well, just for a bit of sparkle. That. You just do little random leaves in spots too. Like that. And then here. 
I'll show you. I'm going to do. I wonder if I can. There we go. Little gold flex makes it look so cute. And then we'll have to wait for that side to dry before we do more. And then this one, you can always add just like little hints of gold because we have more gold on the others. You can even just do little bits of gold in the center of these like little side flowers just so it all kind of comes together. I like it. Oh, and the darker green too. We need little bits of the darker green just to make it tie together with the, <clears throat> the color palette. These are a little too dark. There we go. Like that. Oh. Like that. And then you can just continue with the painting. So I'll do another kind of one of those peach ones over here and just continue to go around and around until you're done. And there you go there are your cute little eggs so you can do them in different patterns you know like have some of the solid ones um, just try to keep the same kind of color palette and just enjoy it thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content see you guys again soon bye